welcome back to my channel, So So Blessed with Linda So So. Uh, hope you all are doing well. I've been away for a couple of weeks, so I'm sorry I'm just not getting a video uploaded. I've been away on travel for work and now uh, busy with my foundation, Jordan's River. Hope you all are praying for me with that. Uh, everything is going well and it's moving along. And I'm just so excited about what God is uh, doing uh, with my nonprofit foundation. So thank you for your prayers. I know you're out there praying for me. So yes, thank you. We're going to go ahead and get into this chat. I'm not going to stay here long, but just again, to bring some encouraging words, spiritual uh, sound words from God through me. In fact, that's what I'm going to be just talking about a little bit today, um, being an ambassador for Christ. So uh, let's go ahead and let's pray, and then we're going to get right on to this discussion. Father God, I just come now to say thank you, Lord. As always, you are awesome. Thank you for your holiness. Thank you for your grace and your mercy every day, oh God, that you give to us, Lord God. Another chance, as I like to say, you give us another chance to get it right. So I thank you, God, for this day. Thank you for the people that are watching this. Thank you all for uh, for joining us, Lord God. And I pray that you will cover all of us, Lord God, by your spirit, protect, protect us, Lord God, with your angels of love, angels of mercy, Lord God. And Lord, as I get ready to share um, this word of encouragement, I pray that it will touch the hearts of many people, those that belong to you. I pray that it will draw them closer to you, that uh, if they don't know you, Lord God, that they will come to know you and they will want to know you and have that desire to get to know you better. I thank you. I praise you as always. Let your words speak through me uh, that they will reflect you, Lord God, and not me. I thank you. I praise you in your son Jesus' name. Amen. All right. So again, I'm going to be talking just briefly about uh, ambassador for Christ, right? Being an ambassador for Christ. The scripture, I believe, is in Corinthians um, and it says where we are ambassadors for Christ and that, you know, through him and through us, God uses us to reconcile. And I'm paraphrasing this scripture, but God uses us as ambassadors for Christ to reconcile uh, people back to God. Right. So that's who we are. And that's what as children of God, that's what our uh, part of our job is. Right. What God is requiring of us. And what I thought about when this came to me, I was just, you know, wondering what I was going to talk about today. Um, and that just kind of fell in my spirit, being an ambassador for Christ. What, what does that look like to you, right? With um, my job, part of what I do is um, I give training, I give presentations uh, on different things as far as like the internet and being safe, you know, surfing the internet safely. And uh, we know that the internet has vast amounts of information, right? But not all of that information is accurate, right? Not all of that information is fact. So you have to be careful, you know, we can't just, you know, we'll Google something in a minute. And, you know, and especially don't let it be something regarding your health, right? If, if you get a little breakout or a rash or, or you get a little pain or something, right? We go right to the internet and we Google that thing. And the, the internet will bring back, you know, volumes of information of what it, you know, what it could be. And we'll see someone say, yep, yep, that's exactly how it feels. Oh my goodness, I got this. Right? And we right away will uh, uh, pronounce uh, things on ourselves based on what we found on the internet, right? Well, we have to be careful because that is not representation. The internet is not uh, all the time representative of facts, of truth. It's a mixture, right? You got false as well as you have facts. So you have to, uh, again, what we teach uh, when we're giving these presentations is how to safely uh, uh, surf the internet. Make sure you're doing your due diligence. Make sure you're doing your uh, um, validation checks and making sure you're understanding, well, who's the author of this? Well, who wrote this? You know, and... Um, you know, like for instance, like for college students, when they're doing paperwork and stuff, they have to be very careful uh, not to just cite anything that they find on the internet. Of course, you have to cite uh, where you got the information so that way you're not uh, uh, committing, uh, um, I forgot what the term is, uh, but you want you don't want to take credit for somebody else's writing, right? 
So you want to make sure you're doing your due diligence. You want to make sure that these people that are uh, posting things on the internet, we have to make sure that it's credible information, right? So basically, what I wanted to talk about today was uh, when we are uh, um, representations of Christ, right? When you think of an ambassador, right? You think of another a foreign country that's representative. They send a representative over to a foreign country. Uh, you know, you may have, we have ambassadors from uh, Europe over here in the United States, right? And they're representatives of their country. They're the spokesperson for their country, right? Well, Europe is not just going to send somebody over here who's not credible, right? They're going to send somebody who uh, knows what they're talking about. They're, 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 they've been vetted, right? Their background, all that stuff their knowledge of what they're representing and what they know all of this plays a factor before that person is chosen to be an ambassador right so here us as being ambassadors for christ oh my god it's very 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 important very essential that we are uh, uh because we're like the president the president has an ambassador who's basically his right hand the highest ranking uh, office next to the president. That's the that's the president's right hand man. He's representing the United States or whoever the country is. They're representing that country, right? So they're going to make sure when they send somebody that's going to speak on behalf of that country, they got to absolutely be an expert, you know, and know what they're talking about, right? As if they were the president. So we're speaking on behalf of Christ. Those are the those of us that have been reconciled. Uh, into the body of Christ, right? Those of us that have accept, accepted Christ Jesus as our Lord and Savior. We are now ambassadors for Christ. And there's a scripture in the Word of God that tells us um, that He has given us the spirit of reconciliation. So basically, that's what that job, that title uh, uh, means to us. You know, what we're doing. The qualifications that we have to reconcile men and women to Christ. So that's what we're doing. Uh, uh, we're sharing the gospel with people out there that still have not returned to Christ, that still don't know about Christ, that still don't know uh, uh, that that there's life in Him, in, in him and, and salvation in Him, right? So that's what we do as ambassadors for Christ. Now, what I wanted to mainly focus on and bring to our attention here is um, how are we representing Christ, right? So remember, again, I said, uh, we can't just go on the internet all willy-nilly and believe everything we see out there, right? There are some uh, uh, fake people out there, phony out there. You know, we, it's out there, you know. put Just putting information out there. If you've heard of the Wikipedia, right? Anybody can go onto that Wikipedia and, and, uh, and make edits and add information to it, right? So you have to be very mindful of doing your due diligence and your um doing your checks and balances right to make sure that whatever information that you're gathering and whatever information that you're sharing is accurate right so we want to make sure that when we are uh being ambassadors for christ we have to make sure basically that my life is a representation of christ the life that i live is a representation of christ does that mean that I'm perfect? Absolutely not. We are in this flesh. And we, and we know that this flesh is condemned. It's contaminated. It's, con it's contaminated. Right? Which is why we have the Holy Spirit that dwells within us. In this flesh. And He is the one that actually speaks through us. Right? So it's not me. Uh, you know, when you have an ambassador for another country. They're not speaking uh, what they feel and what they believe but they're speaking on behalf of their leadership of that country so it's the same for us we're speaking on behalf of uh the holy ghost our leader right because the word of god says that the holy ghost came to lead teach and guide us into all ways of truth so when we're speaking on behalf uh, uh as an ambassador for christ it's not from my own thoughts. It's not from what my own imagination of what I think the scriptures mean. But I have prayed about the scripture. 
after I've read the scripture and I've prayed about it and I've asked God to enlighten me and give me knowledge and understanding of the scriptures that I might be able to share it. There's a scripture that says that study to show thyself approved, a workman that needed not be ashamed, but rightly dividing the word of truth. That means I've studied the word and now I've asked God, as I'm studying the word, open my understanding. What does this mean? And as you give it to me, Holy Spirit, I will give it to those who are still in the dark, who still don't know Jesus as their Savior. So this is the whole, uh, you know, part of what uh, uh, what I wanted to share with us today is when, when we're doing uh, being ambassadors for Christ and we're doing ambassador work. Make sure that we are first in line with God's word yourself. I can't represent something that I'm not a part of, right? I can't represent uh, Europe and I've never even been to Europe, right? <laughs> Um, I, you don't have to be from Europe. You can be over in Europe, but understanding the culture. And now I've been there for a while and, and I've gone through the ranks and I have my credentials and everything. And I've proven myself and I'm credible that I can now speak on behalf of this country uh, that I'm from, right? Well, I can't do that uh, efficiently and be an ambassador for Christ if I have not lived in Christ. If I have not walked, if I'm not practicing this way this is a lifestyle this is a lifestyle it's not just a you know a position that i applied for and i read the handbook i read the manual and now i'm, I'm, I'm credible no <laughs> this is a lifestyle this is what i live i live move and have my being in christ jesus and therefore my walk you know before i even open my mouth and speak my life speaks for me it proceeds my, my 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 words that come out of my my mouth my life first speaks volumes speaks to that right so we want to make sure that as we are representing christ as we are his ambassadors reconciling men and women to to him back to him sharing the gospel teaching the gospel singing the gospel however what whatever your gift is in christ we are his ambassadors and it is in, 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 in uh, um, what's the word I'm looking for? It is very essential that we operate in that place uh, uh, accurately, right? That we are representing Christ and not putting ourselves out there. You know, I don't want anybody to see me, but I don't, I, what I want them to see is Christ, right? So let us remember that uh, whatever capacity that is that you are operating in uh, you know whether like I said you are a singer God has blessed you with the gift of singing uh, and ministering to people in that in that form or whether you are an evangelist that that would be my capacity or whatever that is are we ambassadors for Christ uh, you know through him not of my own self but through him and allowing the Holy Spirit to work through us to get the message out that Jesus still saves. All right, my friends, I just wanted to share that little bit nugget with you. Be an ambassador for Christ. This is an honor. It's a privilege. It's just, um, it's rewarding, you know. Yes, it's suffering too. Y'all already know that that's the that's just my area where God uses me to, to, to uh, you know, uh, that we suffer in this way. But knowing that through it all, God will deliver us. He will bring us out of whatever that suffering is. Um, but more so, it's a privilege and an honor to be called in this way. And I even get emotional if you can hear it in my tone. I'm, because I love him just that much. You know, he's awesome. He's so awesome. And so, um, just to share a little bit before I close out, and then I guess the reason why I'm, I'm even feeling, uh, wow, God, the emotion, the fullness, let me say, the presence of God as I'm speaking to you now is just overwhelming me because he's so, so awesome. And this week I was 
going through emotionally and battling some things emotionally uh, that's you know and going on in my life my personal life and I said to the Lord this week I said I give up I'm tired I'm tired of battling with this same issue that I've been battling with in my life for years and it looks like I pray and I pray and I pray and yeah, I have my good days when I'm feeling strong. And I'm like, yeah, I got this. But then there's days like this week when it's just bearing down on me. And I just said, I'm tired. I said just a couple of days ago, I said, whatever, God, I'm tired. I, I quit. I give up. I, I, I don't want to fight this fight anymore. I'm done. Whatever. But do, do you know that in, that in that instance, let me just calm myself and collect myself. In that instance, as I said what I said, I want to say like a minute or two. Right then the Holy Ghost came right back to encourage me and say no. Mm -mm. That's not who we are. Mm -mm. That's not how we speak. Mm -mm. And he began to encourage me. And he began to speak to me and say, Remember what the word says. Whatever you, the, the power of death and life lies in your tongue. Whatever you speak, that's what's going to be. So don't, don't let the enemy, yes, you have a moment. But let that moment pass and, and get back. Get back up. And he quickened me. And after I said what I said, I repented. I said, Lord, forgive me. Mm -mm. I will never quit. Mm -mm. I will not give up. But I will stand firm. I will endure. Whatever it is, because I know your word promised me that all of my afflictions, they're going to be many, but you're going to deliver me out of every last one of them. So what the Holy Ghost basically told me to do, change your focus. Take your mind off of whatever it is and put it into in the scriptures. Recite them. Speak words of life. Speak words of victory. And that's what I did. And this is why I say, as ambassadors for Christ, you have to live this thing. Because in living this thing, guess what? The same way Christ, when he was here on earth during his lifetime, and endured, oh my goodness, countless trials. Right? He did it for us. And he showed us how enduring all of that, he never lost focus. For, well, no, let me change that. He had a moment, and you all are familiar with this, right before he was getting ready to be crucified. He had a moment. And he said, Lord and Father, if it be your will, let this cup pass. But nevertheless, but in that moment, right? Just like the Holy Ghost told me, mm -mm. we're going to have any moments of weakness. And why is that? Because we live in this contaminated flesh. But even so, the Holy Spirit lives in us, which is greater than this flesh. 
And so I don't know if I'm speaking to anyone that's watching this, but if you're at that place and you feel like quitting and you feel like you want to give up, you feel like I've been praying for years. And that may very well be that you've been praying for years and it seems like there's no change. Let me encourage you. The change is in you. The change is in your thinking. The change is in your speaking. Positive. Listen. The Lord may never change that situation. But what he does do is give us the, the, the ability to change our thinking, to change our mindset. The situation can be the same. But what God will do is change us in spite of the situation. He will change us in the situation. Right? That we can have peace. Huh? One of my favorite scriptures. That we can have peace that surpasses all understanding. He will give you that. So my friends. Uh, God is awesome. Sometimes you just got to take a moment. And let the Lord have his way. Just. Just. Usher in the spirit and worship him. Right where you are. Honor him. Adore him. And reverence him. And he will lift you right where you are. He will restore you right where you are. Ah, oh, Jesus, I thank you. And we're going to pray right now. Lord, whoever this is for, including myself, I say thank you. I praise you. I honor you and I lift your name for every person that's out there the ones that will see this video and even the ones that won't we pray your deliverance we pray your healing we pray comfort oh Lord God we just lift them set free Restore, reconcile. And we know you're able to do exceeding abundantly above all we can ask or think. So I ask God, in your son Jesus' name, whatever it is, I'm asking that you intercede. I'm interceding and I'm asking that you intervene on behalf of your people. Help us to be ambassadors that we will represent you in spirit and in truth. Especially in this season that we're in. In your son Jesus' precious holy name, I say thank you. Thank you, my friends. I appreciate you. And until we come again uh, to fellowship together, I thank you. And if this is your first time visiting my channel, I ask that you would, I thank you for stopping by. I ask that you would to subscribe to my channel, share it with your friends and family, hit that like button, uh, hit the bell so you'll be notified when I do upload new videos. I'm sorry it's been inconsistent. Uh, I was trying to keep to it every Wednesday and then every other Wednesday, but uh, I've been kind of sporadically uploading them here and there, so I do apologize for the inconsistency. 
but please uh, hit the bell so that when I do upload one, you will get the notice. Again, thank you. And as I always say on this channel, I am blessed. You are blessed. We are so, so blessed. Until next time, take care.